So my dear viewers, my dear greetings, my sincere greetings to all of you. Now, now today, just at the voice sentences in our day-to-day -day dialogue. Now, from the very beginning, I had been telling you that in our day-to-day -day dialogue, usually we use active voice sentences only. Very, very rarely we go in for passive voice sentences. So in our day-to-day -day life, from morning till evening, till we go to bed, whatever we do, we always express in active form. So I got up at 6 o'clock early in the morning. I heard the alarm the loud alarm and I was disturbed. My sleep was disturbed. So now we have got the passive form. So sometimes we use passive also. My sleep was disturbed by the alarm. Was disturbed by the alarm, by the loud alarm. Otherwise we usually we use only active voice sentences by the loud alarm. So when we keep an alarm in, the, in our clock or in our mobile, we are disturbed. So our, this, uh, my sleep was disturbed by the loud alarm. So this is what is that simple past tense. So there are loud alarm disturbed my sleep. Uh, that is the active voice sentence and we may say my sleep was really disturbed, very much disturbed and I got angry. That's, that's an ordinary active voice sentence. I got angry. I just pressed the button, the alarm button I pressed and I continued to sleep. Sometimes we say all these, maybe to the sister at home or to our friends we say this morning I was really disturbed. My sleep was very much disturbed by the alarm and I got angry and I pressed the button of the clock and I continued my sleep. But I could not sleep for a long time. So now we have the model here. So in everyday affairs, when we talk about the events of the day, we have to use all these tenses. You know? We still say in uh, simple tense, usually when we talk about the habitual action. Sometimes we say, every day I get up at 6 a.m. This is my usual time. Every morning I get up at 6 a.m. This is about the usual habitual action of mine, which we describe maybe to the friend. But today I wanted to sleep for a longer time. I wanted to continue my sleep for a long time. Then what happened? Suddenly the alarm was I heard. My deep sleep was really disturbed by the loud alarm. So I pressed the alarm and I continued to sleep. But I could not sleep for a long time. I heard the calling bell sound. I had to go and get the milk from the milkman. So the milkman or the milkmaid may be waiting outside. So we go and open the door. This is also an usual action. But today, when I was sleeping, I heard the bell sound, calling bell sound. And I opened the door. And I could see the milkmaid with the milk. I had to get the milk and I went inside. This, this is today's happening. About our everyday program, we may say, usually I get up at 6 a.m. and I get ready. And the milkmaid rings the bell around 7 a.m. And I open in the door and I get the milk. And I usually I give it to the cook and she starts boiling the milk. She starts boiling the milk. When we talk about the day, everyday matter, we talk in this way. And you know, around 7.30 or so, I get a cup of strong coffee from my cook. She gives me a very strong coffee at 7.30. And from 7.30, I go through the newspaper every day for maybe for half an hour and after 8 we start uh, getting ready to go to the office and maybe we would say around 9 o'clock I take my breakfast and today's breakfast was 
just idli and sambar and she had also made a very tasty kesari my cook had made a very tasty kesari and all of us enjoyed eating that kesari and then we started to go to the office the driver came around 9 am so we could reach the office before 10 am and we started to work there today we had a little work only not heavy work few files were ready for me to sign so i had to spend half an hour looking through the files and got everything signed so the, the everything went on well so the, we had to ha we had some bank dealings and that also went on well and after 12 o'clock i got ready to go and visit one of my friends husband who is hospitalized this may be today's program after 12 o'clock when all the important works were over at the office i went out in the car to go to the hospital to see my friend's husband maybe no he was hospitalized so i had to spend i had to spend or when we can even say i had spent when we say i had spent means the action that is over perfect tense we say i had spent half an hour at the hospital we can say or i had to spend when we say i had to spend then it becomes spend s p e n d i think many know about it after to it is always present tense to spend i had to do, to do my work i had to drink that coffee um, my my used to compel my children to drink a cup of milk at night so after to it is always present tense so these little matters if we keep in mind the everyday's happenings everyday's uh, events at home can be easily interestingly narrated and exchanged with our friends we need not have a hesitation to express our thoughts and feelings when we are thorough with the grammar rules some little grammar rules like this no little small little items we can remember no as i said no the habitual actions about every day's matter you can always say in simple present tense and today what happened you know my little cook did not come or my cook was late for today's matter we can say in simple past tense so i had to do my cooking i had to do i must do i was in the position to do so anyhow i managed to finish my work and went to the office and then i came home for lunch in that way we can narrate today's affair not today's happening so till lunch today we have finished just now we have finished till lunch then in the next video we will start from lunch up to going to bed how can we can express our happenings thank you bye for today